In this video, I want to demonstrate the use of a non-equijoin. In previous videos, we've talked about an equijoin, where basically the value in one column has to equal a value in another common column, which is the most common. Um, looking at my screen, we've been playing with this uh, data from the employee table. Well, employees belong to an office and they belong to a department. And when I want to find information about their office or department, I say, well, return employees or this number equals the same number in the office table or this number equals the same number in the department table. So now we're going to do a situation where it's not going to be an equal. It's going to be where this number is between or less than or whatever. It's not equal. It's, it's a non-equal join. So before we get started, notice in my employee table, I've added a salary column and I created a brand new table called salary range where basically uh, we have a minimum and a maximum salary. And based on those values, I have a particular grade and step. And so now I want to be able to identify, well, what grade and step is this particular employee based on their salary? Running over to my script page at the top um, is basically a generic example of what a non-equijoin would look like. We're going to select some columns from table 1, join table 2, on. And now, where before we used to say equal, now we can say greater than, less than, greater than or equal to. We can use a between clause, which is what I'm about to demonstrate. And so it's just, it's not an equality. It's something different than an equality. Doing it for this example, I want to grab an employee's name, first and last name, and their salary and I want to grab all the columns s dot star means all the columns out of the salary range table so obviously I'm aliasing my tables I mentioned several videos ago I should probably use the as keyword to make it clear that's what I'm doing but so I've got an employee table and that salary range table so I'm joining those two tables well how am I joining them on and now I'm saying I'm taking the salary out of the employee table and if it's between the min and the max well then let's return that row we're going to return the row from the, the salary range table when this is between those two values okay so we'll go ahead and run that and see what it looks like so what i get is here's an employee here's her salary now I'm grabbing all the columns from the ID, min, max, grade, and step out of the salary range table. And if you notice, her salary is between the min and the max. Harley, 90,000, that salary is between these two, so it brought that grade two, step three. So for every employee, I'm able to see what grade and step they are based on their salary. What would happen if I had somebody's salary that was below the minimum in my salary range? So right now my minimum is 45000 And so let's say I change Ada's salary to be 30000 Well, what's going to happen is it won't return that row. Because remember, the whole point of joining is bring back records that meet these conditions. So let's demonstrate that. So I just typed a command where I'm going to update um, the salary of Ruiz to 30000 So I'll go ahead and update that. And that did get updated. So now when I run this command, I would not expect to see her show up in the list. So now it uh, doesn't appear that Ruiz is here. Harley is the first person instead of being the second. If I scroll through here... Her name doesn't show up because when I said bring back records where this is between these two things, her salary wasn't between those. Let's do one more example. This it's uh, maybe a little bit of a nonsensical query, but what I'm saying is show me all the steps that are above a particular employee's. Maybe it's yours or maybe all the steps that are above um, the employees in department 103. So I'm still selecting E, uh, last name, first name on their salary, and then, of course, all the columns out of that salary range table from employee as E and salary range as S. But this time, I'm saying return all the records any time the employee's salary is less than the min salary. 
Okay, and we're only going to do this for one department so I don't get oodles of records. So in essence, what this is going to do is take a look at your salary and find all the grades and steps that are above yours. So when I run this, here's what you get. So Gail, her salary is 62000 and notice she repeats several times. Well, that's because there's grade 2, step 1 is above her salary. Grade 2, step 2 is above. Grade 2, step 3. So these are all the steps that are above her current salary. Same thing with uh, Mario Phillips down here. He's at 54. So even grade 1, step 2 is above him. So now I'm seeing all the grades and steps that are above his salary. So rather than doing a between clause, I just simply said return all the rows where the value in this column is less than the value in the other column. So that is how to do a non-equijoin. Obviously a lot less common where you're than an equality join where you're pulling back records where one value has to equal another value in another column. But nonetheless, it does have its purposes.